Hello! Today, I'm here to talk to you about a very exciting new project from Dropbox called Dropbox Paper. This is a phenomenal new feature from Dropbox that allows collaboration on documents from within Dropbox, allowing you and your team to not only share, but also work on a document from within your respective Dropbox accounts. So let's take a look at how this works. When you launch Paper for the first time, you'll be presented with a couple of template options to get you started. I'm going to use one of these today to give you an idea of how it works. So here is our brainstorming template, where I can just start typing whatever I please in order to expand the document. Now let's say that I want to invite a collaborator to work on the document with me. How do I do that? It's going to seem very intuitive if you've used Dropbox for any length of time. Just come to the upper right hand corner of the screen and click on the share button here. Click on link settings and set the permissions. You can allow people to edit, comment and share, or only comment and share. You can also make it so anyone with the link can open the document, or only those that you have specifically invited, which is the more secure option to be sure, so that's what I'm going to choose. Then I'm going to invite someone else to the document here, and send out that invitation. Now let's look at some of the other great features of paper. First, I love that you can click on these three dots and choose history to see the revisions that have been made to the document. This is very useful when you start getting multiple collaborators working on a doc and you want to trace back where certain ideas came from. You can also add the document to a folder here if it's not already in one to make locating it in the future a little easier. Next, I want to show you how you can comment on your document. Here you can add a comment so that anyone else with access to the document can see what you're thinking about a given section of text. I also want to show you another feature that I love about paper, which is the ability to embed media right into the document really easily. To show you what I mean, I'm going to grab a YouTube link and paste it into the document. Now instead of just pasting a text link, as you can see the video immediately embeds into the document. This is a great feature for creating rich documents that utilize a lot of media. Hopefully you found this brief introduction to paper useful. I think it's a great addition to the Dropbox offerings, and I think you're going to enjoy it. If you have any questions about this video, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.